time for a road trip, don't you think? Yay. Well, I'm standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona, and it's such a fine part to see. It's a girl, my lord, in a fat bed Ford, slowing down to take a look at me. How about Arizona? Last time on Love Eve Lotonde, we show you how many things we had to prepare before going for a road trip. Things happened during the journey and where we stayed overnight. Kind of cold in here. Temperature shows inside is 62 degrees, not too bad. Found a 40 outside. The elevation was here. 4,000 in Tehachapi. And somebody Ooh. got a breakfast from McDonald's. Your favorite place, right? McDonald's? <laughs> no. <laughs> So we had the power situation last night. Yeah, for some reason an inverter wasn't inverting. I think the low temperature has caused the batteries to not be so good. They don't seem to be taking the charge very well. They're at three year life on a lead battery. Earlier we had the TPMS alarm went off. Mm -hmm. It tells us the low pressure on the rear tire yeah. was down to 96. Yeah. It was supposed to be 100, 100, went down to 96. Not too bad, but it gives you warning already when the temperature is low. Yeah. So that's really good to monitor your tire pressures. So we definitely recommend to have a TPMS installed on your RV, so to keep it you safe. Let me show you, we stay overnight in Tehachapi. Oh, you see all oh, the trucks are coming and going. See the Prius over here lifted up? Oh. That's what we'd have to use. Yeah, that's the reason we didn't tow our Puyas. We just install our motorcycle lift. So now we are trying to fix the BB sound issue by looping it. So the beeping sound is the pressure for air brakes. Oh. Oh, what? My thingy blew off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shot it like a rocket somewhere. Okay. Three connectors piggybacked air pressure goes directly to the gauge mm -hmm. which is kind of weird there's a air pressure tube here and then the power and then the power which is low voltage and these connectors seem to be failing yeah. so it's ready the connector contact cleaner and then down here okay hopefully that will help so I just turned the engine on. It's been off for six hours, maybe. Cleaned the contacts, of course, on the PSI gauges. Tested the air brakes. The first time I pushed down on them, rear brake, B, went down to where the alarm actually went off in a valid sense, which is always concerning. But I'm seeing now everything's climbing as the liquid is warming up, pneumatic fluid. Now when I push down on it, you can see the bottom gauge move down but it's staying to 75. You don't want to get below 60. If you get down to 40, the uh, automatic parking brake turns on, which <laughs> is <laughs> catastrophic, yeah. Now that we're getting ready to go down a big grade over the, the summit, we want to make sure we have good brakes. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're, we're good to go now. We're at a, about 80, 85 pounds, and that's where you want to be. We live here from Tehachapi to Lake Havasu, according to Google Map, is uh, 273 miles. Okay, let's hit the road. Look at that sunrise. Gummy 
seven, seven, yeah, it's a good safety feature. Yeah. It kind of reminds you to take a break uh -huh. so you're not so tired. Yeah, that's a good thing about this. Yummy. It's good for your body to stretch and uh -huh. check your vehicle, check your tires especially. Uh -huh. That's a big thing. And stretch it a little bit for the driver too. Yeah. So after entering Arizona border, we start to see lots of RVs and boondoggies. Danny can wait. <laughs> Danny, it works slow. Okay, let's go inside. How can I help you? Checking in. Checking in, yay! Yeah. So now we are walking in the park, in the RV park where we stay. So you can see the Lake Havasu is right in front of us. There we are, Hi. Lake Havasu. Very quiet here now. So many people are fishing, we better be quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's so relaxing doing it. This RV park is so different than other RV parks we have stayed. We will have another review video to show you more details about the facilities and amenities at this park. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. Stay tuned! We can't wait to get out to explore the area and to find a place for dinner, which is one restaurant that is right by the London Bridge. Great location and good for couples because it's very romantic. What actually happened after we set down at the bar? What's the story of our next door? Well, we got a big, I think, 45 foot fifth wheeler. And toy hauler. Toy hauler. And they just bought it. And uh, first time coming in here, parked it. I don't know if the wife wasn't giving good signals or. Uh, we don't know what the story. How come they can uh, pick up uh, in the inside the spot and then hit the thing? That they they put in right after us, right? Yeah. And then when we settle down everything, and then I took a shower. I finished my shower. And then Sunday, I look outside the bedroom window. Wow, water spill everywhere. 
everywhere. <laughs> and I said, what's going on? And then we went outside and then check it out and said, oh, when they pick up, they knock off the power line and the water too, that's why. And then we are surprised that uh, this RV park, they have a uh, people come uh, right away to fix the problem, right? Yeah. They turn off the water and then they... Pretty quick. Yeah, and then they have the... Within three hours they had most of it fixed. Yeah, and then they have a power, went back on. Already we were just discussing, oh, we just pull in and what if they don't have a power for the next week when we are here? Should we, can we get a refund and find some other places to stay? Right. And then within three hours, power went back on. We were so surprised because it was Saturday. And then they can find people right away to fix it. But now they got jackhammers and power drills. Okay. They had to put a whole new box in and pour concrete. So that's what all the noise. Lake Havasu, they have a sand, water, and RV Expo. Expo. So let's check it out. Let's go. Come on. So what's different uh, or special about this one? We're gonna go inside and uh, you will see. Okay. Go on in. Secret is inside. Wow. Oh, here. Oh my god, look at the beer with this one. Can you open beer with that? Yeah. No, that's a, that's a <laughs> handle. No. <laughs> we have a full series of a sand water expo videos coming up. Find out what did I oh, see that made me yeah. wow. What exciting things we did while in Lake Havasu? More videos of Lake Havasu series coming soon. What do you think? You like, like Havasu? Yeah, so far so good. Like and share this video. Subscribe and click the little bell for seeing our next episode every Saturday. Check out our Patreon for more exclusive news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on La Vie Flotante.